Uh, <clears throat> waiting, working uh, to get here, to get to this opportunity is obviously, um, you know, been a long time coming. So, yeah, for us, for them, it's, it's huge. It's exciting. On the right side. Aaron, obviously a lot of talk's been about Bob, but it seems like you guys as a defense are really in sync with him right now in terms of, like, you're right on top of all of his rebounds, cleaning stuff up. Obviously, I think 23 block shots last night. Do you just feel like you guys kind of – you talk a lot about chemistry with, like, line partners and stuff, but do you guys feel like you've kind of really gotten in sync with him during this run as he's played really well? Yeah, it's a, it's a system. It's the way it's coached. Um, We've been able to keep five tight in the D zone and, and kind of take care of each other's mistakes. And, and Bob's the ultimate guy, you know, backstopping us. So um, he's been playing obviously unbelievable. And we've been trying to limit chances as much as we can. Front left, Andrew. A2, as, as Barkov is, um, you know, you, you look at him as a leader on this team. Does it, does it seem like if you get to that point of being able to reach the Stanley Cup that you want him on the ice as much as, as possible? Oh yeah, he's a huge part of our team. Uh, he shows that on the ice, and uh, obviously that's the best shot for our. Uh, obviously, we want him to be on the ice as much as he can, and uh, he can make a really good plays. And uh, yeah, on the right side, George. To go back to to David's question, a little bit on the defensive play, you guys really kind of clamp down on them. You get another third period where you guys didn't get a lot of offense going, but you definitely blocked a lot of shots and, you know, that kind of thing. I think in the last three minutes they had one shot on goal and you guys blocked two or three shots. Well, yeah, I think we've been doing a good job uh, blocking shots and uh, box outing guys to the net. Uh, obviously, Bob's been unreal back there. Uh, I think we're just playing real tight as five, and I think it's working right now pretty good. Right side, front, front row. Aaron, um, knowing that the focus is always just on the next game and respecting that, how, how difficult are the mind tricks to not allow yourself to think ahead to what one more win might mean for this team? Oh, it's only natural, right? I mean, obviously, um, thoughts cross your mind all the time. But at the end of the day, you, know, you come in and you just play the game. Um, tomorrow is just another game. And you know whether we need more or not, um, you just come in, play the game, play your hardest focus on the little details before, and, and it all takes care of itself. Right side, second row. E2, throughout this entire run, you guys came into this, I think, with lower expectations. How have you guys been able to stay so loose throughout this entire time? What's the atmosphere like in the locker room right now? Uh, I think we're a pretty confident group right now. Uh, obviously, underdogs come to the series, and uh, I think that's just a good thing for us. No pressure, just keeping loose and, like, playing our game. We'll take one more question. Front left, uh, Mike. Aaron, on a lighter note, uh, Paul said last night after the game that Sasha had to leave the game because he had to go to a bar mitzvah. Were you a little offended you weren't invited? <laughs> uh, that would be my second bar mitzvah, believe it or not. Um, no, not uh, happy that I was not invited, to be honest. There are no more questions. Thank you for your time, guys. Cheers. Thanks. Thanks.